Good afternoon. Today I'm uh, doing some trail maintenance and we have this dead tree here that the broke top broke off or broke off approximately in the middle and another one that broke off over here from a recent storm and these medium-sized branches are blocking the path over to this nice seating bench uh, that kind of overlooks the lake there and the reeds are pretty high so you know, the lake view is uh, not uh, perfect right now but there's a nice little seating sitting bench there and as part of my agreement to keep this trail somewhat open we're going to remove at least the part of the branches that are around the trail today. To help us with our little chore today, we're going to be using our brand new Ego brand electric 56 volt brushless chainsaw. This saw uh, comes with a 16 inch bar. It boasts 40 cc gasoline equivalent, equivalent performance and comes with a two and a half amp hour 56 volt battery that I've pre-charged. The only thing you really need to do to use this tool is to put some oil into the oil reservoir for the bar, lubricating the chain and bar, and charging up the battery. And this will give you uh, a near gas, or depending on the exact gas saw you're comparing it to, a gas experience. This is one of their latest upgraded saws. It actually has metal working spikes here instead of the plastic ones that the previous units had. Uh, I don't know if the brushless motor is new or if it was brushless previously. And it boasts a pretty high chain speed, variable speed. This is... very fast compared to... Uh, I also brought out here this 20 volt Black & Decker electric chainsaw. Just to give a little comparison, this one also has, uh, this is a two amp hour battery, the closest comparison that I had to the Ego, but two amp hours at 20 volts is vastly different and vastly less watt hours than two and a half amp hours at 56 volts, like our Ego down there. So this uh, has a significantly slower chain speed. But it does work, so I'll kind of compare the two a little bit here as we cut through some of these smaller branches that are in our way. And I think I'll try to get, got two left-handed gloves here, give me one second. I'll also try to compare the uh, chain speed using the GoPro at a high frame rate. So give me one moment, I'll get that set up here, and I'll put it somewhere in that area there so we can get a good look at that and we'll just take a couple comparison cuts here see what we think between a 56 volt brushless and a 20 volt more of like a drill battery type of thing turn on the higher speed camera here I think I'm going to do undercutting just because that tends to work nicer. So let me take a cut with the Black & Decker. It cuts. You know, there's really nothing wrong with a small lower voltage tool for just a few little branches like this. Still good. Still good overall. some of this off of our trail. There we go. And this might not be perfectly steady now, but we'll try to do a little comparison now using our Ego. And I'll try to run it at basically full speed. Let's see if we're in frame there. We're almost in frame there. just pinched a little bit, kind of wet wood. 
undercut might work a little better with that. Yeah, very, very fast chain speed with this. I'll try to show it on the uh, GoPro here. Compare that to the Black & Decker 20 volt. Black & Decker is not variable speed, so other than my horsing around and trying to film here, a little project like this, we can make quick work of it with this type of saw. That is fast. Very fast. And we'll get rid of this. I think they might really be, oh, they're saying 40 cc equivalent. For sure, they're as good as a 32 cc as far as torque and chain speed seems to go. This is a perfect little project for this type of saw because you're not gonna be cutting for hours and hours. I think battery life would be an issue. Not that you can't get more batteries. And they do have much bigger capacity batteries than what was included with this kit. I'll be able to have this cleared up in no time here. It's light enough for me to reach out, do an undercut like that, which may or may not even be in the frame anymore, but we're almost done. go and just to make that easier to get rid of too easy for this uh, need a bigger heavier more solid chunk of wood to even make it break a sweat and one broken branch over here And just like that, our path, once I weed whip a little bit here, will be open to that nice seating bench there, get that all cleaned up. Uh, not even a challenge for a powerful brushless saw like this. So this thing seems to work really well. Not even a blip on the 2.5 amp hour battery to do that little amount of work, cutting up a few branches. Easy to handle, good grip. I like the variable speed, even though you generally are just gonna use it wide open for most intents and purposes. And one thing I didn't mention, it's quiet because it's electric, so I don't have to put my ear cups down on my helmet. And I like that because I can be more aware of what's going on around me, people coming down the trail and stuff like that. So very, very nice little brushless electric saw. I think 40cc gas, uh, I think they're pretty much there. I think 
they're making a valid claim. Handles good, feels good, cuts good. This one's a winner.